All right, just going to record a little bit about the antenna I'm building at the moment, which is a multiband based on the um, PAR NFED 402010. I've got a very small block here that I can construct antennas on, so I have to be very economical with the space. So I've decided to go with this because it will give me three bands. Not perfectly, but it gives me the option of three bands on a relatively tuned antenna. Now, PAR NFEDs... Um, don't necessarily completely stack up perfectly where you want them to but there's nothing there that an ATU won't be able to pull into line and I've got a, a nice new Chinese automatic tuning unit which I'll probably do a review on once I get this up but just to go over what I've done here the, uh, the wire is well there's two sections the first section before this coil is 10.4 meters and the section after it is 2 meters. I'll leave links to where I've got the basic um, the basic dimensions from below so if you want to have a look where I've got this from have a look below. The, the um, auto transformer is well it's different it's not a 9 to 1 it's something more like about a 64 to 1 or it automatically matches because it's got uh, a bifilar winding at the bottom here you may be able to just see it there's two excuse the wind there's two windings around there and then there's one two three four I think it's seven and then seven back the other way again I'm not sure why that was I, I was tempted to just keep going in a um, clockwise direction but there's different versions of this antenna out here so I've decided just to go with this one just for argument's sake um, across the input well, where the um, coax feeds in, the bifilar winding, winding it goes across the centre pin and the outer pin, the ground, or earth, and there's two 250 picofarad capacitors here, and these are in series to give 120 picos, therefore also it will also double the voltage rating on these, they're 500 volts, so essentially I've got 1000 volt, uh, 125 Pico, or Pico, however you'd like to pronounce it, capacitor across this, and it goes across the winding. The antenna basically, or the um, end fed antenna, basically comes off after all these windings. It goes to here, I've got a little thumb nut, which I bought off eBay, and uh, I've put it all in a piece of PVC. I've just hooked it up like this to test, because I wanted to run some tests on whether I was in the ballpark for the SWR or not, and it turns out after a little bit of trimming, yes I was. So, <clears throat> the, uh, the coil is interesting. As you can see, I've constructed it with a piece of 4mm plexiglass right through the middle, and 51... Um, 51 turns of 0.4 millimeter. I think that's 26 AWG, 26 gauge wire, 51 and for a uh, about 26 microhenries is what you're looking for, I think from memory. And uh, I just kept adjusting it on this side to for the um, 20 meter and 10 meter section. The two meter piece on the other side of this basically makes it a uh, half wave. 40 meter antenna so uh, I just I've glued that up I think you can see down there I glued that inside there so that it stays in place and all the tension therefore transfers through the coil and doesn't sort of hang off the PVC are you listening I think he's listening I don't know now <clears throat> for support I uh, use one of these carabiner clips and uh, the antenna will clip on, sorry, here we are. The antenna will clip on here. And I'll be able to just put the lug under this thumb screw and screw it into place. It'll make it much more convenient if I ever have to pull it down or rewire it or change things around. But I wanted something that would take, well, I mean this is going to take 100 watts. But modifying the wire and the gauge here will probably allow me to... Um, increase the power. Just for those interested, the outside diameter of that piece of PVC is about 26, 27. It's slightly, it's gone slightly oval because it's taking that piece of plexiglass through the middle. Um, and I've just got to 
cover these up with a bit of heat shrink, I think. And uh, they'll go. I'll put this up. I've got a squid pole. Um, it's not an ideal sort of location where I'm going to be placing it, but I think it'll work okay. Okay. This is Pax. This is my helper. So that's it. 10.4 meters of wire to the coil. The coil, another two meters, and then I've got again a small insulator I've made out of plexiglass. These are quite good, but I don't know how they're going to stand up to the UV. So if anybody knows how much, how well they'll stand up to sunlight if they'll uh, eventually disintegrate, let me know in the comments below. But that's uh, that's where I am at the moment. I'm just about ready to uh, to put it up. And uh, I'm actually waiting on a piece of heat shrink to cover this coil, and I know that'll change the <clears throat> that'll change the impedance a little bit, or the, rather the inductance of this coil slightly. But I think it'll be okay. And uh, I've just sort of jerry rigged it together so that it doesn't all fall apart while I was testing it. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's being tested again apparently. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. QRP Practical VK3 Papa Alpha Alpha 73.